the stage. is 100% important, but let's just face it. Was it possible for the prince to know all about Cinderella by only dancing for a few minutes? No way. It is our appearance that really matters in a fairy tale and even in this 21st century. Have you ever had a conversation like this? Hey, you know what? I got a boyfriend, one of your friends joyfully said to you. So you will ask her, oh, really, do you have any pictures of him by being curious about his looks? If the guy in the picture was not handsome, you may respond like, wow, he, he looks really kind. He must be a gentleman. Anyway, congratulations. Now you know. Even if we claim that our personality is more important than looks, we judge people by their appearance. That's why we care about how we look and have complex about it. All of us, even good looking guys or hot girls, have complex more or less about their looks. For instance, single edge narrow eyes, height, hairy arms, skin condition shape of body, or balding head. So, ladies and gentlemen, how should we deal with our complex about looks? Generally speaking, people feel complex about their looks when they find a gap between what they want to be and what they are. Even though our complex are accepted or loved by others, it is still hard to overcome. Every minute of the day, we have to face ourselves, so we cannot escape from the reality. In my case, I have a strong complex about my single edge narrow eyes, and I don't like my face. I can't have confidence in myself, and I can't talk to people with making an eye contact. I always wish to have plastic surgery to remove my complex completely, because that's the only way I thought to overcome my complex. However, I realized that it is impossible to remove all the complexes from my appearance. Even if I have plastic surgery to my eyes, I will definitely focus on other parts of my face that keep having complex. Or maybe I will feel complex about the fact that I have plastic surgery. Also, as we grow older, it is unavoidable to face a new complex. Having facial moles and wrinkles, becoming bold, turning gray, and so on. If we try to remove every single complex each time we find, it is endless. So, as the first step to overcome our complex, we need to change the ways of thinking. We need to accept the reality we are in and accept our looks. Just like we play a card game with a given card, we have to deal our life with a given looks. It is super important to keep this idea in mind that complex will never disappear. So we need to accept it in any ways. Then, what can we do to relieve our complex? The answer is very simple. Making an effort as far as we can. While we cannot completely remove our complex, we can reduce the complex level. 
In the fairy tale, Cinderella was in a low status and wearing a tattered skirt. However, she never stopped making try to improve herself and make all the efforts she could make, even in a harsh environment. She kept her slender body by doing housework, and she always dressed up by making cute clothes by herself. Such efforts made her appearance upgraded, and finally, she could steal the princess' heart from both inner and outer beauty. Our appearance directly influenced how we behave. So through making an effort and brushing up our appearance, we can also grow mentally and feel less complex about it. In this 21st century, there are plenty of ways and things that will help us minimize our complex. We can easily get closer to our ideal appearance by doing makeup, going right up, wearing a wig or sleeper boots, anything that you, anything you can accept your looks more than before should be okay. I used to hate my face and feel despair every morning looking into the mirror, but I can now love my face with makeup and make an eye contact with you today confidently. I practiced making up my face hundreds of thousands of times and now I can simply change my eyes to double eyelids. By accepting the fact and changing my looks by doing what I can do, I was also able to grow mentally and feel less complex about it. It is meaningless to grieve for the things that we cannot control. So, all we have to do is to accept the reality we are in and do what we can do for it. Once upon a time, there was a lady called Cinderella who had many complexes. Her underarms were deadly hairy, her eyes were sharp as a knife, and her body stinks like a cheese. However, she never stopped trying to improve herself and made all the efforts she could make. She gradually became attractive from both her appearance and the beauty from inside. Finally, she fell in love with a prince and grabbed her happiness. Don't you think we could have such a fairy tale? Ladies and gentlemen, it is your turn to be a Cinderella in the 21st century. Let's overcome our complex by doing what we can do and live happily ever after. Thank you very much. Then, we have a session after this performance. Mr. Stanley, please. Okay, thank you very much, Kizasa Maso. So, uh, you like uh, good looking guys as well, don't you? Um, yeah, handsome guys. Handsome guys? Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think of my looks? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, well, you look really nice because your brown and the, the, the gray hair is really attractive. <laughs> oh, only, only that? No, uh, and your, uh, your, uh, I think your glass is really cool. It really fits to me. Yeah. I, I, I take notes. <laughs> okay, um, what's wrong with uh, bald in head? What's wrong with uh, short in height? What's wrong with short legs and big face? Is what's wrong um, with there's them. no wrong points. Um, I mean, I think all each people have different sense of view. So some people like short legs, maybe, or some people like fat people, or. But, but, but you say all of us have uh, more or less inferiority complex in our futures, and that included short leg, you know, blah blah blah. So do you, you, no, <coughs> you don't care about short leg guys, short. Guys, hairy arms, and well, bald in head. Just in my point of view, I think long legged people is attractive, but it depends to people. So we cannot say that all people feel attractive about long legs. So I'm talking. I'm asking you your taste. Your taste. Your, your taste. Uh, my your preference. My preference is for long legged and happy guys. You prefer those guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You said it. Good, you're honest, right? <laughs> the last question here is that uh, Fukada-san, I think uh, she's from uh, 
Jose was talking about the uh, improvement of the confidence and beauty. Yes. Little I go, and she put emphasis uh, on inside <coughs> confidence first. You know, while you emphasize the outside beauty, you know, outside appearance first. Um, and yours, I think, I think yours is very expensive. You, you may use a very high, very expensive cosmetics like Minarich and uh, Chanel. And all she needs, of uh, course, I need is just a piece of mirror. You know, just look into yourself in the mirror, shout at you, you're so beautiful. You know, good looking. So, I think, what, what do you think of uh, Fukada san's idea? Well, I, I also agree with her that if we have a complex about looks, we, like, you know, we tend to hide or we tend to um, delete all of them and we try to be more attractive person. And I think we always struggle to struggle about the gap that we want the gap we want to be like this, but in the real we cannot be like that. So, so to fill the gap, I think the process of making efforts to be more attractive or look, look more better is important. Well, I know that, but uh, you you want to try Fukada San's idea to go back your home and. Um, yeah, Shout at you, yourself. I, I like to try, but I really tried many, 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 many things. But even I tried many things, I couldn't accept my complex. So that's why I made this speech. Okay. Give it a try. You know, that may work. I want to try. Okay. Uh, tonight. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.